Hey everyone, Steve here, and this is a video that I put together for you to help you guys take the right steps to improve your credit. So how's your credit score? Is it bad? If so, then you're not alone. 56% of Americans have bad credit. So let's start by asking what determines your score and what can you do to improve it? Let's take a look at the determining factors when it comes to scoring your credit. Thirty-five percent of your credit score is based on payment history. So what that means is you need to stay current and you need to pay on time. If you're having trouble staying current or if you're just forgetting your payments, there is auto pay, there's reminders you can set for yourself. One late payment can drop your score 100 points and nobody wants that. Do you have maxed out credit cards or credit cards that are approaching your high credit limit? Uh, if so, that's normally not good. A recent Credit Karma study showed that an average consumer with maxed out cards has a score of 563. So what can you do with this? Obviously, the obvious answer is uh, to pay these accounts down. If you pay the accounts down to 20% or lower, then you'll see a quick boost in your credit score within the next month. Maybe you just got a new credit card and you're looking to close some old accounts. Uh, closing accounts is usually not a good idea. It will almost always bring your credit score down. 15% of your credit score is based off of length of credit history. So that old account is usually your most valuable account. While there are some reasons for closing accounts, such as high interest rates, outrageous annual fees, or maybe you're just trying to get out of debt, always think twice before you close your old accounts. Consumers with the best credit scores usually have them because they have the most types of credit. And by that I mean they have a variety. There's installment loans, which are set at a fixed rate, and it's usually your mortgages, your auto loans, your student loans. And then there's revolving credit, which is your credit cards. And those are based off of what your balance is. When your balance goes down, your payments go down. Different types of credit stands for 10% of your score, so having a variety is always key. Our last deciding factor is new credit. New credit happens every time that you apply or you pull your credit score. So if you're applying for a new credit card or an auto loan or a mortgage, your score is going to drop because a new inquiry is going to come on your report. It's best to pull your credit a couple times per year as the more inquiries add up, the more heavy it can be on your credit score. Thanks for watching. For more information or if you need help with your credit, Head on over to betterqualified.com and tell them that Steve sent you.